Hi there, my name is Rob Anderson. I've made this video for you to show you how you can use niche and keyword research to improve your business or to give a new business idea a better chance of success. Um, there's a lot of different ways of doing niche and keyword research. This one is to show you how to use your local bookstore or a magazine shop uh, to find good keywords. So what you do is you go down to your local bookshop and you have a look at books and magazines and you look at to to see what publishers are prepared to pay to print a magazine that shows there's an interest in that topic. Uh, I've taken a photograph here of, of a bookshelf and if you look closely you, you will obviously then start to get an idea of the trends and the types of things um, but it could give you an idea as to what people would be prepared to pay for. If people are prepared to pay for a Sudoku book then they might pay for Sudoku online, even though um, there is a lot of Sudoku available online for free. So you'd need to do your research. That's what this is all about. Um, naturally, you can see there's a lot of social related stuff online. Uh, there's a lot of sport related things, but that's the entire point of this magazine niche research system. So you delve into it a bit closer. Um, if you look here, there's a lot of great ideas. Um, from from there you know fighters so, so so obviously there's a need for a boxing or fighting uh, niche and, and it's worth looking into there's biking there's trucking there's fishing all of them are niches and each one has a potential if people are printing books and magazines for them then people are buying it therefore they're prepared to spend money in it I used some of these close-ups to show you so you would if, if you have an interest in that magazine go and buy it and look closely at what the topics are or buy three or four and get a better feel that for example makeup tips are regular and people do go and look for them uh, here's some more examples on 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 hedges and things like pub lunches uh, garden magazines all ideas that are worth pursuing Right, I took this as an example. I took uh, triathlons uh, from this magazine just from the photo. I went to the Google Keyword Research tool, which is all in on my website. I'll give you the link at the end of this video, and and it shows you how to how Google can tell you exactly who is looking for what subject online. So if you look at the top of this, Iron Man is searched for five million times internationally. That keyword. And it's searched for 22,000 times locally. Um, so those are what's called keyword search numbers. These are the people that are looking monthly online for those specific titles and topics. Now, if you look at this screen here, training triathlon or training systems for triathlons is fairly high locally in South Africa. So you could write a product and promote it to about one and a half thousand monthly searches locally in South Africa and sell an online training course or sell better still an online training membership website course so people will pay you 50 or 80 rand a month to remain a member of your online training triathlon training website and they would get weekly schedules and, and, and they would be able to interact with each other and generally be happily involved in a, a membership club online and you would have uh, you know three four five hundred members and 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 earn a fair uh, income from that you could equally do it internationally it would be a lot more competitive but it wouldn't be that hard to compete for this sort of thing and you could be getting a hundred and thirty five thousand views a month f to your website uh, so yeah th th that's the point of keywords and having taken the ideas of the niche or the keywords from the magazines you take it into the Google Keyword Tool and drill deeper until you get what you want. Okay, the idea then is to, as I said, buy the magazines or the books, get an idea of, of what and what subjects people are looking for, what specific keywords are, so as you're not just broadly trying to get people to look at your website or your business. You know exactly what keywords they're doing and you target for those visitors. On this next slide I will show you a link if you go to my website there will be training from there it will show you how to 
you, you, you'll get to see uh, how to do other keyword research. you would get to find out how to learn a step-by-step -step system to, to build uh, your web business. Uh, I, I refer you to a, a training guy that for very low fees a month literally gives you massive amount of training. I'm a member of one of them currently and I've been a member of the other one for many months. It's the best way to learn how to do extremely highly targeted uh, a web-based business to where you're getting inquiries for either for a business you've already got or for a business you would like to set up and need to know how to go about doing it properly. Um, there's so much to learn and yet once you know it it's very easy. It's not much harder than learning to play the guitar or drive a car. Thank you for your time and uh, yes I hope that uh, every of your business, every one of your business endeavors are successful. Thank you. Bye.